Good morning. I just got back from a run. The sun's coming up. Woke up at 10 past four this morning. Blimmin stressing and worrying. <laughs> Feels like maybe this is going to be quite hard, this whole caravanning thing. And when things go wrong, it gets expensive real quick. Welcome back. This episode we're getting some jobs done, getting ready for the new caravan to arrive. We also get the truck all wired up by the auto electrician, ready for the caravan, and we have dramas. Okay. And it won't, um, won't even turn on. Okay, that's a yeah. bit odd. Yes. They say that things go in threes, and there's definitely three big things going on this week. Alright, well we're just about to take the truck in to go to the auto electrician. Man, I was up ages last night stressing about towing this thing. So it's all becoming a bit real. Towing such a huge caravan stresses me out. I think it's the, it's the whole braking thing, eh? So a long time ago I borrowed someone's trailer to for a youth group camp and I had stacked all the gear on it and we'd driven the whole way from the camp back um, into town with the brakes on and when we pulled in like there was smoke pouring out and the whole trailer caught on fire we were like trying to put it out putting water on it and it was just like reigniting it was so hot and that is like scarred me for life I think but anyway let's go and get this done and when we brought our old retro caravan we took it for a test tow and the brakes weren't working properly and they were smoking and we were miles away from the guy's house we had to wait for them to cool down to be able to tow it back and there were a couple of other times where we forgot to take the brakes off all right already back home again because i forgot the reverse camera so this was about to be the start of the headache for us because in this box is the monitor for the camera which is on the back of the caravan which helps us to reverse and to see traffic behind us when we're driving down the road. Alright and this is where it's all happening. And this is where things got a bit confusing because the Sparky was telling us that the caravan people don't know how to wire caravans and trucks properly, that he knew the right way and that he was going to call them to discuss about wiring it his way. To the code, yeah. according to the instructions. And, yeah. no, but, but then it left me in the situation of do I wire it the way he says to wire it or do I wire it the way the inside our RV says to wire it? Because I don't know, I'm not an electrician. And it left me thinking that I was going to have to choose like one of the ways to wire it, which was not helpful. Uh, we'll start walking home and Sif's going to come pick us up. Cheers, <laughs> Dal. Change of change of role, Sif's picking me up for once. <laughs> right, because this caravan is so big, this driveway is not quite, well it is wide enough to fit the caravan in but it's going to be a bit iffy you know, reversing something so big up this driveway. So we're going to make it a little bit wider. This whole fence is pretty bad and I intend on building a new fence before we go. Maybe something with a bit of art you know. What are you doing? What are you eating? First to remove the mailbox. Bend it towards you, I reckon these nails will rip out. There you go. Boom. This one might be a job for the Hilux, I reckon. Watch out, Tibbs. Yep, you're good as. Come a bit further back, Tibbs. Come over here. This post was unbelievably long. Man, that is one deep post. I reckon we could just put one of your kids in there, eh? That'll fill the hole. That'll fill that hole. You could just have a shower. <laughs> well, that went better than expected. And then time to fill the holes. Alright, put the dirt on. You missed!
pretty good. So this is the area we're thinking we'll park our caravan. We've got a whole bunch of these concrete pavers down here. So we can make like a nice little concrete area to keep the tires off the dirt. Although they won't be on the dirt for long because it won't be that long till we're full time caravanning. Woo! Well, I know the best concreting work, but it's going to keep the tires off the ground, so it should be good. We might need to move a couple of the ones on the far side into the back here. Well, I just finished work. It's been a couple of days since the guys had the truck. I think they got a bit busy, so so, so humid and hot. Been sweating profusely plastering today, but Soph's just going to drop me down and we'll go and get it and we'll see what they've done. But first, it's time to get out of these sweaty, gross clothes. Endeavour guys, friend, bit of shit around a can. Alright, let's go before they shut. <laughs> oh, get stiffer. No, I get stiffer. No, you... Right, okay, so. Yeah, go on then. So we've put your battery and your Anderson plug above your pre existing plug. Yeah. And then we've wired. Oh. Tap, tap, tapped into there and wired your 12 pin plug into there and your camera port there. Sweet, so is it. Do both of the plugs work? Both of the plugs were, Oh, yep. sorry. The job looks nice and tidy. Although I wasn't happy leaving with the bill for nearly double the estimated price that I was given. The monitor, which is for the camera on the back of the caravan, so that we can reverse and see traffic behind us on the road, wouldn't even turn on. They blamed this as a faulty product, but offered no solution to resolve it. According to their instructions. Yeah. Yeah. Camera in there. Yep. And they're saying yep. that they're saying the middle cord for the camera is faulty and it won't um, won't even turn on. Okay, that's a yeah. bit odd. Yes, I um, know. They've also charged me double the normal price. Why? Well, they reckon I've had to do a lot of mucking around and there's a lot of parts. So I think they've pretty not stoked about that. First, the bill, it was 1200 bucks, which the guy said it was going to be about six, 700 And then it's not even working. So definitely will not be paying the other half of the bill until it is, because what's the point, right? Although the guy reckons it's the wiring, and if we get the new wiring and he'll fit it in for free, so that's good. Then I'll pay the rest. Good morning. I just got back from a run, the sun's coming up. Woke up at 10 past 4 this morning, blimmin' stressing and worrying. <laughs> Feels like maybe this is going to be quite hard, this whole caravanning thing. And when things go wrong, it gets expensive real quick, and nothing even went wrong. But miffed about that auto electrician charging us so much. Got his apprentice to do it, charged $87 an hour, and the thing's not even working. And I was thinking last night, what if we turn up to pick up the caravan, and then the trailer plug doesn't even work, you've got no indicators or brake lights. Although I'm sure it's going to be fine, but it's good talking to Jared last night. They're sending up a new whole camera, a whole new camera system, so they can take the parts they need to get it working. Oh, thanks Jared. Right, so it might not sound as though an expensive auto electrician bill is the end of the world, and it's not, but just want to point out a few other things. So I paid Camp America fees, brought out airline tickets, and then I get this message saying, not sure about visas for third time Camp America counselors, which would be my third year. So now we're in this process of like waiting to see if I'm actually gonna even be able to get a working visa for the States. The truck went around this corner and blew out this almighty whiff of blue smoke. Blue smoke is not good for a ute. We just got it, <laughs> just like got it sorted for the caravan and now it's blowing out blue smoke. Although it hasn't done it again since and I got Soph to follow me around the block and there was no exhaust fumes at all. But then we noticed these little oil spots on the driveway. So I guess those are just a few things, but they are quite big things and things that are totally out of our control and things that can be very expensive. And we're wanting our savings account to be like climbing as we head towards the bang on the road full time. At the moment it's like skyrocketing down. And 
yeah, it's just, I guess, a lot to think about. Although, we've got till May. We've got till May until we're planning to head off. But thanks for listening to my little moan and rant, and we'll see you next time. Next time, I think we'll be doing a video of our caravan. We pick it up next Friday, Friday the 17th. Today is the 10th. So one week and we will have our caravan and hopefully a truck that has no issues. Right, see you next time guys.